Hello everyone. So today I will be creating a model for cancer type classification. There are mainly two types of tumors. One is known as benign and the other one is malignant. A benign tumor is a tumor that does not invade its surrounding tissues or spread around the body. Whereas a malignant tumor is a tumor that may invade its surrounding tissue or spread around the body. So a malignant tumor is more harmful and dangerous than a benign tumor. The data set has been taken from the UCI repository and it contains 33 columns. First, I will import all the necessary module. We'll require NumPy, C1 and Matplotlib for visualization, Pandas, sklearn for the train test split and random forest classifier and few metrics like confusion metrics and accuracy score. Shift enter. All the necessary modules have been imported. Now I will instantiate the variable data with the data set using pandas pd.read underscore csv with the file name. Using the dot head function I will show how the data set looks like. So the first five rows have been represented with all the 33 columns. Dot columns attribute enables us to fetch the names of the columns. So these are the names of the columns. Now I will create a series of the diagnosis column from the data set and I will drop columns. These three are the columns which I wish to drop and I will instantiate the variable x with the data set with the three columns being dropped. Axis is equal to one represents the columns. So those three rows have been dropped. Now instead of 33 columns, we have 30 columns. I will create a count plot using Seaborn to show the count of the benign and the malignant data points. I'll set the palette to blue in order to get a, a visualization with the color blue. So we can see that there are 357 benign tumors and 212 malignant tumors. Now using the dot describe function, I get to generate a descriptive statistic. Descriptive statistics include the summarization of central tendency, dispersion, and the shape of the data set distribution but it ex excludes the values which contain any n, which is not a number. So it shows the count, the mean, standard deviation, the minimum and the maximum values, and the first three quartiles. Now I will create a swarm plot. So first I'll set the style to be white grid. I will standardize the data set Standardization is done to ensure the mean is zero and the variance is equal to one. I'll create a data frame with the Panda series diagnosis, which is instantiated to Y. And I will take the first 10 columns. Now using the dot melt function, I will format the data frame into a format where one or more columns have an identifier variable, which is the ID underscore vars, which is the diagnosis. And the bar underscore name is the name to use for the variable column. I will set the figure size as 10 by 10. And the swarm plot will have the x axis set to features and the y axis as value. The hue will be set to diagnosis in order to classify the two data points. And the palette would be purple. I will rotate the features, which is on the x axis, to 45 degrees. Now this is how the first 10 columns um, are represented using a swarm plot and I will repeat this for all the 30 columns. So the next 10 columns look like this and the next 10 columns I'll use different palettes in order to differentiate between the three different sets. Now there are redundant features amongst all the 30 features so I want to remove those redundant features. Removal of redundant features is a very valuable practice in machine learning and I will use a heat map with the Pearson's correlation value in order to do so. So I'll create the heat map and I'll set the annotation as true in order to show the Pearson's correlation value. The FMT is set to 0.1F which is to get only the first decimal place and the line width is 0.5. This is how the heat map looks. Now I will remove all the redundant features. Uh, we can see here that the radius mean, uh, perimeter mean, and the area underscore mean are all redundant features. 
and now I will check with this form plot in order to check with which is a better predicting feature. Uh, in this case, fractal underscore dimension underscore mean is not a better predicting feature when compared to area underscore mean because there is a stark distinction between the two classes, but here there is more of a dispersed manner that is found. So comparing all the features with the swarm plot and the Pearson's correlation value, I'll remove all the redundant columns. So this is the list containing all the redundant features and I will drop them using the dot drop function and axis is equal to one again represents the columns. So this is how the data set looks like with the dropped columns. Uh, I will again create the heat map with the Pearson's correlation value to once again check if there, if there were any redundant features that were missed out. Uh, as we can see, uh, there is no feature that we have missed out. Now I will proceed with creating the model and first I will split the training and the testing data set. The testing size has been taken to be 20% and I will set the random state as 21. The random forest classifier has a default of 10 trees set initially and I will give the random state as 42. Now I will fit the random forest classifier model with the training data set and the target variable and I will predict the accuracy score for the testing data set. So this is the true value of the target va variable in the testing data set and I will predict it with random forest classifier for the testing data set. And then I will print the accuracy score. I will also create a confusion metrics for the testing data set and represent it with a heat map. So this is the accuracy. The accuracy has come to be about 97.37. And this is the heat map showing the true positives, true negatives. Uh, false positive and false negative as you can see uh, it is represented in a manner of percentage because I have divided the number with the total sum in order to predict a percentage and 0.2 percentage is taken in the formatting to get the first two decimal places and the palette has been set to blue. Now we can use this model in order to classify uh, cancer into two types which is malignant and benign. 